Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my 5 months update on HRT. So my last update video was at 2 months and now we are 3 months later. Um, so I was originally planning to do um, one of these update videos every month, but um, after, um, basically after my last video I feel like there hasn't been enough changes and I'll go into more detail. But um, yeah, there just hasn't been enough um, each month, so these videos probably will be a bit more spread out. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've now been on HRT for five months, and um, I'm just going to update you on um, my dose uh, changes. So I have um, increased my doses and stuff like that. So I will go into a bit more detail. So the last video, two months. I believe I was it yeah fingers before I had my blood test so since my last one so since the two month one I've had blood tests again and basically those results then got sent off to the GRC or at least they was meant to be because basically what happened with my um, GP or the receptionist there is that they took their time sort of sending it over to my GRC and so, um, for those who don't know, GIC is Gender Identity Clinic. So, um, yeah, the doctors or receptionists just took forever, like, I think over two months to send blood tests. And it was highly frustrating. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that eventually got sent over and then the GIC had to review the blood tests and then send a letter to me. So, I got another letter from them to update my hormone doses. So I started out with just two milligrams of estrogen, that's the word. So I started on two milligrams. Uh, so basically one of these pills here is just two milligrams of estrogen each. And so I started out with just taking one a day. And then since I got this letter, it says that I can now be taking four milligrams a day. So I'd basically take two of those pills each day. So that's what I started on straight away as soon as I received this letter. And that was about I want to say four weeks ago now. So yeah, that was about four weeks ago now that I've been taking uh, four milligrams. And then also in this letter, it says that I can be starting on a um, testosterone blocker. So that's what I've got now got here. So this uh, here is the actual injection. So it's um, D... I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, but it's this injection. Um, and that's 11.25 milligrams. So this should be taken every 12 weeks. Um, and so obviously I'm not going to be um, injecting this into myself because I just don't want to be doing that and you shouldn't be doing that, I don't think. So I've actually got an appointment with my nurse to be doing it later today. And then also alongside that injection, I need to be taking these uh, pills as well. There's only um, 14 in here, so I'm taking one of these one of these each day alongside the first injection. So that's just to cover the first two weeks. And this is cy Cyproterone. I mean, I'll put the words up. But yeah, these are 100 milligram tablets. So I don't want to quickly mention this because I actually mentioned it in the letter. So the, re the reason for the um, pills in the first two weeks is that um, so it says, uh, that they are taken once a day to prevent the testosterone flare that can occur with the first dose of the injection um, and then it's not required with subsequent uh, injections. So I think, um, I mean, I spoke to someone and they, basically the way I explained it is that um, this alongside the first injection just helps your body to, um, I guess, accept the fact that it's um, going to start shutting down its testosterone levels. Because um, obviously naturally my body is producing testosterone at the moment and um, with the estrogen pills they are starting to work their way through my system but um, so naturally um, I won't be able to produce estrogen um, ever um, and so that's why I have to take the estrogen in pill form or you can have it in patches anyway besides the point um, yeah naturally I will never produce the hormone of estrogen and so that's why I have to take it medically and so um, yeah the pills are going to help um, my body to sort of accept the fact that the uh, testosterone is being blocked if you will um, so it'll hopefully be a bit smoother in regards to my hormone changing. 
So yeah, and then basically once the testosterone is fully blocked, the estrogen will be able to fully um, take its place, I guess, and have its way. So I'm just sharing this information for those who are interested. I'm not saying that this is, you know, stuff that people need to be looking for and getting because you should self-medicate. That's not what I'm advising at all. I'm just simply sharing for those who are interested what um, medication I'm on. So yeah, and then it states in this letter that after I've been on this new medication, so the well, basically from eight weeks after the first injection, I'll need to get more blood tests done. And so I'll just book in the appointment literally eight weeks after my injection, straight away. Um, so yeah, that's what's um, going on with uh, my hormones and stuff, or uh, medication. As for actual changes, I still haven't really noticed much in regards to physical changes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, sort of area is still um, slowly starting to sort of make itself known like it's just very sensitive and there's a slight um, if you put pressure on it you can feel a slight uh, sort of I want to say lump but it's not quite a you know solid lump it's um, I don't know how to describe it but um, yeah if you can feel something there as if it's you know growing I guess <laughs> so yes that's what's happening in that area as for like facial hair and stuff, that still hasn't really um, changed much. I mean, I shaved this morning and this is how much you can see like in regards to um, the stubble underneath, um, if you will, or the shadow. So, um, I mean, in regards to facial hair removal, I will be starting that eventually, but um, I'm going to wait until the um, testosterone blockers like, actually do some work on it first, because um, the blocker will um, do something towards it. It won't, I mean, it won't stop it completely, but it will have some sort of an effect. And I'm waiting, and I would, would like to see like how much of an effect the blocker will have on that area before I go and get extra treatment for it. And then in regards to skin, um, I mean, sometimes the skin feels a bit softer, um, like Ben notices, but. Um, Half the time I'm not sure whether it's because of like the products I use on my skin and that sort of thing so it's like yeah it's difficult to tell um, in that regard. Oh so in, uh, on the non-physical side of things so emotions they've been okay I guess. I mean one thing I did know is um, when I was on holiday I was watching a movie on TV what was this? We Bought a Zoo and um, the first time I saw that was a few years ago um, so before I was even on hormones and when I watched it I never really got any emotional reaction from it but when I watched it this time especially towards the end yeah I was just crying so I actually had an emotional connection there which was um, quite nice so it's quite nice that I am getting all these new experiences from things that I have done before like watching movies and TV shows that I've watched before but when I'm watching it on hormones, I'm now getting a different connection and reaction from it, which is quite, you know, fascinating to me and exciting because, you know, it means that the hormones are doing something. But apart from that, there's not much else to update. I mean, I may um, film a little bit more to this um, after I've had my injection today, um, just to update you on how I'm feeling at the time. Um, and then I'll keep you posted as the weeks go on. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's happening at the moment. I will see you after I've had my injection. So I've just got back from having my injection. So I have now officially started on D blockers. Ha! Ah. Um, so yes, it's uh, rather exciting. It's like sort of a next step in my um, hormone slash transition journey and uh, yeah I finally started <laughs> oh so yeah one thing um, so one thing I sort of noticed not long after it and then walking back home is the um, sort of uh, the pain in my um, backside muscle that um, got injected but um, I imagine that's more due to um, having a little needle shoved into it so um, I can't imagine that's more, <laughs> I can't imagine that being any like actual proper effect of the drugs and stuff. So um, yeah, what I'll do is probably um, hopefully have more updates on a monthly basis now. Um, so I'll sort of like try and keep notes and that sort of thing and let you, I'll update you 
um, on the next month uh, update. So it'll probably be sort of towards the end of October. So um, yeah, it's exciting that I've taken the next step and everything. And so one thing I will say is that I do like the um, nurse that I see at the surgery. Out of all the staff, she is one of my favourites. So that I've sort of built up a little friendship with her. Um, so every time I see her, um, I always have a new update to my life and that sort of thing. And so the thing I got to tell her this time is that I am now engaged. So um, yeah, she was just like really excited and happy for me. And it was just um, yeah, it's just really nice that I have that sort of like um, I said relationship with her. And like every time I see her. I'm sort of updating her with, at different points in my life. So I hope you liked this video, found it informative and helpful in any way. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, then obviously please do feel free to comment down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.